But as many other tourist destinations in low-income countries, Zanzibar lacks the infrastructure and institutional capacity to manage the increasing pressure. Tourism has become one of the fastest growing economic sectors in the world, offering millions of jobs and lucrative opportunities for investment and trade. However, the environment and natural resources are under great pressure from tourism, and this has consequences for both the health and the well-being of the local population and the economic viability of the tourism itself. So what happens to the island's vulnerable ecosystems? What happens, for example, to the wastewater we generate? What are the consequences of our large water use? Not to mention the tons of solid waste we generate. There's a need for strong partnerships and decisive action from all tourist stakeholders in accordance with the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda.